Today, the defense presented a witness with shocking testimony. This man says he had slept with Ashley, the victim, six months before this event. Take a look at this. You, you had an extramarital affair with Ashley Fallis. Yes. And you know that Tom Fallis knew about that, right? Yes. There was one time when you met up with Ashley at her place of employment. Yes. And you met in the parking lot. Yes. And while you were there with Ashley, Tom Fallis came driving into the parking lot, right? Yes. And he got out of the car, and Ashley got out of your car, and Tom Fallis' behavior scared you enough that you locked your doors, right? Yes. Rolled up the windows. Yes. You could hear him cussing. Yeah. It seems as though the defense was calling this guy to the stand, but didn't he become a witness for the prosecution? I mean, isn't this a backfire? Yeah, that was kind of interesting, but maybe it's it goes to show that she was not happy with her marriage, and that goes to her wanting to perhaps kill herself. Um, I don't I don't think the prosecution... It doesn't go to him wanting to kill her? <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> well, I mean, you have to question why the defense called her as a witness. That's what I don't called understand. As a witness. But either way, I don't even think it matters. I think the defense has done a great job in this trial because they've been able to really use the prosecution's witnesses and spin it so that it bolsters the defendant's case. Is it possible that this guy ha is the father of the child that she was carrying? Here's more with this guy that she had the affair with that we, again, we only know for sure that it was six months before she died. There may have been more. Take a look. Did you reignite a relationship with her? Yes. When did you reignite that relationship with her? I believe it was July of 2011. And was that a sexual relationship? Yes. And approximately, to the best of your memory, when did that sexual relationship terminate with Ashley Fallis? Um, I believe it was in August. Evie, does this testimony change your thinking about this case at all? It does a little bit. What I want to know is, did the husband bring this up to police, or did they find this out on their own? That would be a big issue for me. Did he keep it quiet that she was having an affair, and then police did their investigation and this came up? Or was he forthcoming and said, hey, investigators, my wife was having an affair?